Okay, what is going on guys? Elite Chris here, and today I am bringing you the Farming Simulator 17 Coon DLC mod review. I'm sure there's probably a billion and so, or maybe more of these out there on YouTube already that show you this beautiful DLC, but I want to show you it in my own unique way, which is probably the same unique way that everyone did it. But anyways, guys, this is the overview of everything. Um, I believe it's everything. I counted it like seven times, but... Uh, Probably counted wrong because uh, that's what I do. But anyways, there is two balers over there, and there's a bunch of cultivator sowers, fertilizers, fertilizer, mower, tether, wind rower, and then there's the bale wrapper back there, which is the coolest thing in the DLC in my opinion. Sorry about that. I had to wipe my mouth. Drank a little too much before I started recording this. But uh, this is the second time I recorded this, so I should have this down pack now because... The first time I did it, um, I actually had my mic muted, sad face. Anyways, that's okay, because I am back showing you it again, because that is what I do. I mess up, I redo it, and I redo it, and I redo it, and I redo it, and I redo it, until it is perfect. I'm going to stop bouncing the camera around, because I get yelled at that, yelled at about that way too much. There we go. Anyways, let's uh, jump right into it, and as I say jump into it, I mean like that, and wham, we're inside the store. So we're going to take a look at first the cultivators. There is quite a few new cultivators, including this bad boy right here, which is a subsoiler, which is equivalent to a plow, which is right here. It can be used instead of a plow. So if you can read, then you probably don't need to watch this uh, review because I'm basically just reading this and telling you. But anyways, this is the Kuhn DC 401, 4 meters, 7 mile per hour working speed, which is kind of slow, but that is uh, the speed of a plow. Uh, if I am not mistaken, this is $10,000, 4 meters. If you look at the plows, this one is 3 meters, and it is 22,000, 4.9, 59,000. You get the point. This one makes a lot more sense. If I can find it, excuse me. Uh, it is right here. Yep, this one makes a lot more sense. This is a, another cultivator that is not a plow. It is actually a cultivator, so that is why it is in the cultivator section. Not sure why this subsoiler is in the cultivator section. I guess there's probably some kind of legit reason about it. Someone that probably owns that in real life probably could explain more than I could. But I'm not a farmer in real life, so I could not explain to you why it is in here and not in there and not in here and in there. Yep, I just confused myself. Anyways, we got the uh, plow right here, another 4 meter plow. This one is an independent one. It is a trailer, obviously. There's a hitch there and there's a thing there and some things there. And uh, it is the Performer 4000. I think I forgot to name what that one was. That is the HR 4004. But uh, you can see that, as I said before, if you can uh, read, then you probably uh, know what is going on. Um, anyways, this is a 6 meter plow, which costs 35000 I don't think it's cheaper than the actual 6 meter plow that's already in the game. No, it is not. 32000 The maintenance is probably less or something. That's how they usually do it. No, the maintenance is more. Um, it can hold something. Still trying to figure out why it why it can hold stuff. If anyone knows, they can tell me. But uh, it holds stuff, and it is acceptable with grass and horse seed radish. I believe that is what that's called. I actually haven't used it yet. Anyways, we're going to back up and head over to the sewing machines. We got some mean machines in the sewing machines, if you know what I mean. Anyways, right here is all four of the sewing machines. There is the Espro three thousand, which is thirty two thousand dollars it is only a three meter working distance not sure why it costs so much for that little i guess it's because it's a direct sower and it holds quite a bit of seeds that's the only thing i could really think of um anyways this is a front uh holder it uh additional tanker it's a front tank not a holder you put seed in here and it gives your sewing machine magically more capacity. It goes in here and I'm sure in real life there's some kind of like tube or something it goes through. Maybe you get out and have to like scoop it into that. I don't know. But in here you just put it in there and the game registers as it being in there and you have what? 1500 more liters of capacity. And then you have this guy which hooks up to that long huge addition thing where you have the plow, the cultivator. And then you can use this sower with this on the front, and you have a nice uh, setup to plow, sow, or plow, cultivate, and sow. And this is a 5.4 meter cultivator, or not cultivator, sower. The planter, R, R, oops, planter 3R, not R3, 12. 
easily mistaked with the plantar R312. Just kidding, that does not exist. At least I don't believe. Probably does now. Uh, then we have the Kuhn front additional tank for the liquid fertilizer. It has a nice 21 meter span on it, which is quite a bit more than this one, which is pretty, pretty cool. And it's only, what, 7 meters behind this big giant one. So that is pretty cool, and it holds 1,300 liters. This one gives you 1,500 more. So yeah, that's what, 2,800 liters. So that's pretty, pretty good. And then this is pretty much the same as this. The only difference is it costs, um, actually I lied, it is not the same, I forgot. This is the 36 meter one, which is the same as this one. Um, the only difference is this one does not hold as much as this one. But uh, again, if you put this on there, maybe it uh, extends that. I'm not sure. I don't know if it just works with that, if it works with that too. Um, I guess we'll never know, right? We will never, never know until one of us tests it and then says it does work, which could be me if I decide to do that. But anyways, we'll take a look at the fertilizer spreaders. This is the dry fertilizer. The Axis 40.2M EMCW, can't believe I got that right without messing up, on the first try. Uh, 24 meter length or spreading distance or width or whatever the correct term is has uh 3200 liters of capacity right there this one has 4000 basically the same just the maintenance is lower and the amount it holds is a little lower but uh, that is okay it's still a very uh cost efficient option look at them big words anyways we have the coon gmd 4411 uh, mower could be 4,411 not quite sure how they use their words in their name but uh, it has a nice 4.3 meter distance I was afraid it was going to be the same as this when I first seen it but in fact it is a meter bigger than that one a meter and 0.3 so yeah N not even going to get into that so yeah. yeah 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 let's back out of that and there is a tether, the GF8702, $1,600, dollars $1, Uh, Yeah, just a tether. Makes grass into hay, if you didn't know. And uh, then we got this bad arse merger max 902, not merger, merge max, with two X's, so you know it's legit. 902, it is $102,000, which is really, really high for 9.1 meters, considering this one is 14.8. But this is a merger, and it has the belt system, and you can combine two rows into one. If you know what I'm talking about, you go up, you go down, and it's shooting out, and it makes one big pile in the middle. Um, again, easily easier to show it than say it, probably. But uh, we're not going to get into that in this video, because then it would be a pretty long video. So anyways, we're going to look at now the baling technology, which is our last stop on this bumpy road. We have the square and round bale wrapper, which has the selectable foil color, which is pretty, pretty cool. Oops, I'm trying to hit back there. I guess I need to hit back there first. Uh, not too bad in price, actually. 54000 which is reasonable considering this one is 42000 and the maintenance is 220 a day, which compared to this is a little more, but this thing is just so cool looking. I've seen it work in a real life situation and it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And as in real life, I mean, I've seen it on YouTube, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, we'll get into this. And I like how they put these here, just saying that, so you know it's the Coon Pack. But if you're like me and uh, you have all the, the mods on here, it's nice to be able to see like, oh, that's from the official Coon Pack, yada, 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 yay, yay, yay. So yeah, I do have all my mods off, so I'm not lying, I swear I have a bunch. And this is the Square Baler, which is the same as this Square Baler. I had to say it the same because I kind of hesitated there. Um, exact same, cost 3000 more, maintenance is a little less, same capacity, everything's basically the same. If you go back and forth, can't even tell which one I'm on unless you look at the maintenance and then this is uh, pretty pricey we'll just say that but it can uh, bail and wrap for you so there's no need in buying this bad boy right here which is these two you need both of these to wrap and then you need that but you still need that with this one but uh, this bails that wraps this one bails and wraps all in one so all you need is this guy and you can make some nice silage bales and it does have the selectable 
color of the foil this one does not have that yet I'm not sure if they're gonna add that in or not don't really care because I'll probably just always leave them white because I make them I load them and I sell them never see them again so pointless for me but for some of you maybe it is handy dandy I don't know but yeah there's no cars I don't know why I clicked on cars but yeah guys that is it for that part we'll just do a quick walkthrough of all the equipment and we'll save them bad boys for last this is the uh, soil cultivator plow thing. I always forget what it's called. Um, that can hook up to the tractor by itself, or you can attach it to this cultivator, and you can plow, cultivate, and then you need that sower right there, and you could sow. So that is four meters, four meters. This is the four meter standalone cultivator, and this is the six meter standalone cultivator with a small little fertilizer tank on the back I think maybe a sewing one not sure have to look more into that before I figure out what it is and then this is a sewer three meters holds a lot as you can see it has a huge tank on there for just a little three meter sewer it actually looks really weird because it's like way longer than it is wider but uh, anyways, we have the front uh, basket uh, tank thing to hold more. You just pull this drawstring right here and whoosh, the top comes off. Always got to make the whoosh sound effect. And yeah, that uh, gives you some extra storage. And it has some nice lights on there that look really fake. But that is okay. All the lights look fake on this game. Um, and then this is the sewer that attaches to the back of that. Or you can use it as a standalone, I think, with this. Could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, so this is the sewer. Again, this is the six meter sewer. These come down, boom, boom. You have a nice six meter sewer. You throw that on the front and you have uh, extra storage capacity. Yada, yada, yada. This is the fertilizer, liquid fertilizer front storage tank. It, uh, again, with the weird looking lights on the bottom. Looks like a car bumper. I don't know why, I just wanted to say that, but it does, kind of, if you look at it. Looks like the bumper of a semi. The nice little, like, brush guard thing that goes down underneath. Anyways, this is the uh, spreader, for liquid fertilizer spreader that goes in the back of the tractor. This is the giant, uh, looks like, I thought that was a beacon, doesn't have a beacon on it, I don't think. Ooh, can't get up there. Ooh. Oh, it does have a beacon. Oh, I jumped over, there it is, right there. Nice little beacon. That's the most important thing. It has to have a beacon or it's not legit. Well, this thing is massive. has that huge 36 meter uh, width on it. Can't wait to use this thing on the farm eventually. It has the thin tire so you can uh, drive over your crops without destroying them. Like a madman. Like I do. But I don't have the crop destruction mod on. Maybe I'll use it now because of this. That is cool. This is the dry fertilizer spreader. Basically the same as the dry fertilizer spreader that goes on the back of the tractor and just kind of sits there and it has a little less capacity than the other one that is okay i like how you can see in there i got a little distracted that you can like look in there and see it's kind of cool you can see the bottom right there and then this is the mower with the nice width on it you can see obviously you lift it up and you hit some kind of button and make it spin out again we'll get into that into in another video and then we have the tether which looks like it has some little beacons on there actually. I can't tell if them are beacons or just little orange things. But uh, yeah, that is the tether. Ooh, tether. Woohoo, no one cares. Just kidding, I do. Need to make that hay to feed our cows, man. Making hay. Anyways, this is the Merge Max 902 with the two X's. Gotta remember it's the Merge Max X 902. Uh, yeah, this is the merger. It has the conveyor system on it. It doesn't come out the middle. It comes out the side. And then this is this bad boy right here. The wrapper that has the foil all right here. That is a limitless supply that you never, ever run out of. And it does wrap round and square bales, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to head over to this. You can see the beautiful corn growing in the background. And this is the... Hello. I don't know if you guys heard that. Someone said hello to me. Hello. Was it you? Sorry, guys. Hold on. I gotta say hello. Hello. Excuse you. You sneeze. Bless you. Not excuse you. Sorry. I'm from America. We get stuff wrong all the time. Sorry. Sorry. 
I'm sorry, don't walk away. Anyways, this is the square baler with the nice normal tires, and this is the round baler with the weird low skinny tires. I don't know why they look different to me, but they do. It also has the wrapper on the back, which you spin around. It wraps the bales, drops it. And then you come by with your auto loader and pick them up. Or if you're a pro, not like me, because I can't do it, you can come and grab it with a spike or like the little grapply thing, yada, yada, yada. It's got the nice warning thing. That way some dummy doesn't just come up and walk into it and go, whoa, get sucked into it and get wrapped up. I'm curious to how this works, though. We'll check that out in another video again. And yeah, this is the square baler, which I already showed. It just poops out square bales right of there. And you just come and pick them up with the, uh, well, you can wrap them with that thing down there on the end now. Or you can just load them into a trailer and uh, give them to your cows or sheep or whatever. So yeah, guys, this is the uh, overview of all the mods. I'm sure you guys have already seen like a million of these on YouTube. But uh, I do have the privilege of working second shift, so I am always late on everything. So I hope you guys are watching this still. I hope you guys enjoy this still, even though it's a little late. But I will see you guys in the next video, more than likely, unless my YouTube career ends suddenly. Let me just jump back up on my case, like I was at the beginning. And we'll do a slow panoramic view of everything into a nice fade effect. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>